What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is The Joyful Sojourn and in today's video I'm just gonna set up a notebook. I have been thinking a lot about my planner stack for quarter three. What planners, what notebooks, journals, what do I want, what do I have, what's working, what's not working, and um, I need more Jane's agenda in my life. And so I'm going to be setting up a kind of like an on-the-go notebook I'm going to put some planning pages in it. I'm not sure how they're going to be used exactly, but a little bit smaller than the planners that I'm using right now that I can move the pages in and out of and take it in my purse on the go if I need to. So that is what we're going to be doing. Jane's agenda, all of the stuff that I um, get from her or from her sub box, I get in the half letter size. And I really like that size. It's smaller than a Happy Planner Classic. It's bigger than a mini. Um, it's just kind of that nice little sweet spot. And so I'm going to set up a half letter notebook featuring Jane's agenda. That is what we're going to do today. And as I was looking through my stash, I realized, um, I don't have any discs from Jane's agenda. How is that even possible? So we're going to be using, um, whatever discs I could find. And I want a smaller diameter disc because I just find it easier for on the go. I don't like that the disc bound system can be wobbly if you don't have the right ratio of paper to disc space. And so um, we're going to go with smaller discs because I want it to be a little bit lighter. And I grabbed these little plastic guys, but man, I wish I had these um, in metal. I do have some Happy Planner metal discs in that mini size, but not enough for a half letter and these are a little bit bigger these plastic ones are a little bigger and so i think it might be that sweet spot so um this is going to be my i think this might end up being my the final item in my planner stack so i grabbed items from the last two uh seasonal sub boxes and the um uh, not seasonal sub box monthly subscription box and I love this cover. Well, it's technically a dashboard because I got the boxes in unpunched, half letter unpunched, so that I could decide if I wanted them to be disbound or coil because I do have a like twin loop punch. And I just haven't gotten around to mastering that and I don't want to damage the stuff because it's so pretty. So I do have my punch here. I have a Levenger punch. Um, that I might use to punch this. Um, when you get the unpunched version of items from, or if you get the unpunched half letter selection in the monthly sub box, it means that you will be getting dashboards and not covers, which means this is dashboard size or um, yeah, dashboard size. It is not cover size. And just to show the difference between a dashboard and a cover, this is a half letter cover and this is a half letter dashboard and it's just shy of an inch narrower and maybe half an inch shorter. So it is definitely, I mean, I guess if I wanted it to be, if I wanted the cover and the material though, material is the same. If I wanted the pages to be like a perfect fit, I guess I could use a dashboard like a cover. So here's a vellum that I think is really pretty. Um, I would need to cut the edges for it to be a rounded corner, but I could do it. You're just not gonna have any page protection. This cover is probably one of the most stunning covers I've ever seen. And I don't know if you can tell, but it is textured and raised like paint, but like, smooth. It is so beautiful. So I'm tempted to use this guy, but I'm also tempted to use this script script font because it is so pretty. Um, so man, that is tricky. I'm going to set this guy aside for now because it is not punched and I'm not certain yet how I'm going to use it or if I want to use it. But this was from, oh, now we're going to test my memory. This was from May's box or June's box. 
so was this dashboard. Again, none of the dashboards are going to be punched because I got the unpunched version, but so pretty. That marbling with the gold veining. So what I love about setting up notebooks from Jean's Agenda is just, you can just change them so easily. And with that sub box every month, you can get like a whole new look in your planner. So, or notebook. So in this case, notebook. So we've got our dashboards that I would need to punch. Let's see, we've got our summer reading list books. Um, the travel pack. I'm not going to use these inserts today, the travel inserts, because we're doing a really just a on the go notebook. So I'm going to set those inserts aside. And I pulled out a weekly number two. This is an undated weekly planner. And I really like this layout. It's like a modified horizontal where you've got your to-dos for each day and then an open section maybe for your most important um, events or if you've got appointments and then the things you need to get done like next to each other, but horizontal. I love this. So this is the weekly number two undated. If you're new to Jane's Agenda, um, the coupon code JOYFUL15 will save you 15% off of your purchase. So definitely give that um, coupon code a go. I am an affiliate for her, um, but I do buy the box. So what are we doing, you guys? I guess we can start with the cover. Let's just, let's start with this guy because it's so pretty. And let's see how far these discs take us as far as space goes. And I might reach out. I think we're gonna have to do one at a time. I do like the look of clear. It'd be awesome if these were like glass, that'd be rad. But let's see if there's going to be enough space on these discs for what I would, what I want to put on it. I also have some filler paper that I've collected over over the years from Jean's Agenda that we can add add to this notebook. So let's pop this guy in and just see how much space we have. I'm also going to put in the weekly pages. Apologies for the noise. The clear might look kind of rad, actually. Um, yeah, it's actually kind of cool. I don't hate it. Um, okay, so we've got our dashboards. Um, do I go with the one? Let's just out of curiosity. Would this punchy work? I think it's a little too clashy. But this is where you get to have a lot of fun um, playing with different looks in your notebooks. You can kind of see what these different uh, dashboards are going to look like underneath. Got this, the clouds. I wish this cover was a little bit smaller so there isn't as much overhang, but I suspect that that is to accommodate maybe a pen if you put one of those adhesive pen loops on the back cover. Um, it's giving a little bit of room for that but it feels like the margin's a little bit wider. I think the ocean's probably the best fit. So, or the shore. This reminds me of home. I kind of like that. Um, and then we could put this guy. I think I will put the vellum in there because it's not a huge distraction on the cover. And it'll be nice to open up to that. Like this is what I'm seeing when I open it up. So let's bring this. Oh, and then I pulled out the monthly habit tracker. This was from the um, the box that had the the hand the um, book type cover. Um, I want to add a monthly habit tracker page in there. We're gonna do that too. So let's grab this guy. It was a pretty penny, guys, but I did pick it up. I think during like a Black Friday sale. And um, it's been totally worth it. It does multiple sheets at once, which is really nice. She is a behemoth though. This is the Lavender, Lavender Punch. And it's gonna, it's, I mean, it's aggressive, very aggressive, but it is nice. And there is a notch here for, let's see, letter, compact. We want junior, so that is the junior guide. I'm gonna put the vellum and the dashboard in together and just kind of push it as good as I can up against the 
oh, see, just like butter was so easy. Um, a lot of people will ask how the punch compares to some of these uh, planner brands. And let me just show you what that looks like. So here is the Levenger Punch. Okay. And here is the Jane's Agenda Punch. I'll put these next to each other for comparison's sake. Or we'll put them up against each other. This to me looks pretty, pretty darn um, exact actually. So the, the mushroom stem and the mushroom top is the same size. So that Levenger punch is going to give you a nice, a nice, um, Jane's agenda punch. Okay. So we have punched these guys. We're going to add those to my notebook. And I think I have Wait, guys, wait. I also have, hmm, these are unpunched though. I do have, these I'll have to punch. These are unpunched. Man, now I want to make a half letter planner. No, not going to do it. But how pretty is this dashboard? And I think I have... A full set of these vellums too. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna go. We're not gonna go down the rabbit hole. <laughs> I just have so many really pretty Jane's agenda things, and I haven't used a half letter recently, and it's making me wanna use all the half letters. But let's focus. Today we're just making a notebook, and then I need to get on my merry way. So, vellum for July is in. We're gonna add this guy. See how it looks. Very pretty. And now let's add the weekly pages just so that we can get some um, bulk in there just to kind of see how much space we have left for note paper. I think you get three months in the undated. Could be wrong. But let's pop these guys in. And this is the old paper from Jane's Agenda. There's now a really pretty cream smooth paper that they use. So this is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to perfectly match. Oh, these discs are going to be just fine. I just put, what, three months on there and there's still plenty of space. Um, let's do, actually here you can see the paper difference. Um, here is the habit tracker and this is, man, that paper is so pretty. So here you can see actually pretty well the difference in color between the old Jane's Agenda paper and the new Jane's Agenda paper. I'm going to grab maybe two of these and I'll do the disc punch. I want to keep some for if and when I um, do the coil. Now I want to make sure I guess it's gonna work either way hope this doesn't cut off habit tracker though like the word kind of looks like it might I'm gonna pop this in and punch how did we do no cleared it just fine so now we're going to put in our habit trackers. Okay. And then this is where I have some uh, other fun inserts. Now these are, these are different layouts. Ooh, quarter, quarter three. Quarter four. I'm going to grab the quarter three and quarter four pages. Yeah, I'm going to grab these. And I'm actually going to add these to the front. So quarter. 
oh yeah, that's gonna be really nice to have. I love pages like this. Um, I will always insert in any planner that I have, I'm going to create this kind of vertical view. I just feel like it's so much easier for tracking things. Um, I don't know, it, it works for my mind. So big fan of this layout. Now, I need more note pages. And I think I grabbed the wrong storage because this is all, these are all weeklies. So I need to find my, let's see what, pen, quick glance calendar. Ooh, these are, yeah. That was the other part of the quick glance. This is nice. Let me grab this as well. So this has the 2024 tasks, like top six things you want to get done, or seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then 2025. That's kind of cool. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that in here. Um, I need to find my other note pages my other um jane's agenda note pages you guys bear with me for a second i have so many things what's the things um i am way overdue for a reorganization of my office because it's a hot mess out here let's see this might have, oh gosh. Now we're just gonna take a, we're gonna take a look down memory lane. Look at all, okay, now I have to, now I have to look through those, hold on. We're gonna take a look at those. And then we're gonna take a look at these guys. For making my notebook, I can shop, shop my own stash. So this is where I have all of my various card stocks and vellums and whatnot oh my gosh so pretty these are all jeans agenda they've done the marble before it's so pretty <gasps> mm. uh oh are we going down the rabbit hole are we i think that color isn't quite the quite the right match but dang that's fun super fun put this guy back so many beautiful dashboards over the years I've collected so I can always kind of flip through oh, love the winter ones they're just so pretty and the fall ones are pretty they're all pretty you guys like so pretty. This is one of my favorites of all time. It has like a textured look, a look to it. Um, I don't love the cloth and paper ones. Like you go from these beautiful dashboards from Jane's Agenda and then you, <laughs> you land on this one that says Logophile. Yeah, I'm gonna pass over those. Ooh, so we've got these guys. I've slowly been collecting some of the know when to pause, pivot, and persevere. Kind of like that. Um, this one is iconic. I don't think we can find this one anymore. Or did she re release it? She might have re released it. Well, now we're just doing a little lookbook of Jane's agenda. That was not my plan here. Sorry, guys. Let's see. So we've got some laminated. Okay, we've got goals pages. That is a mix. That is not what we want. So we're gonna set this guy aside. Sorry, we're bouncing, bouncing things. Okay, so now we've got oh, all kinds of, these are layouts, different layouts, lifestyle, productivity. Ooh, these are good. Um, I don't know if she still makes these. These are tip-ins, habit tracker tip-ins. Those are great if you want to um, take this along with you each week. Ooh, ooh, that makes me want to grab it. But I like that it's like a half sheet because it is easy to insert it each week. I think that's really nice. 
What do we got? Um, I'm strong. So we've got like wellness. Let's see, productivity. Got more of those weeklies. Okay, that's not what we want. We want filler. Okay, so note and filler paper. There we go. I think these dividers were Jane's agenda. So we have dot grid. Oh, I love these. <gasps> okay, so this type of note paper is my favorite, where it's got the month at the top and uh, 1 through 31, so you can just circle or highlight the month and date. We've got graph grid. This is from Levenger, I think. Let's see, we've got note paper. It's like the Cornell Cornell Notes style. Um, lined paper, have none. Don't really use that. And then we have project paper. I'm going to go with the journaling paper. Yeah, notes number 12, journal notes pages. The absolute best, you guys. It is so good. I want all of these. Do I want all of these? Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to take this whole section. It's just so good. So I'm going to grab all this and throw it in here. I'm going to need some dividers or at least a page finder to separate things. So I have these guys in. We still have room on these discs for more. Do I want to build up an actual... I've got like plenty of room. This makes me want to add the July here. And if I add the July here, for the start of the monthlies or the weeklies calendar pages then technically I could go back to this guy see how fun this is pop this guy in oh that's pr really pretty Guys, we have more room. Now I'm thinking maybe I do add some dividers. But if I use the Jane's Agenda ones that I have, they are not punched right now. I could add these guys. These are top tabs. I could add these top tabs. I would just need to change the labels, but that would mean maybe this is like an overview. And then this would be the calendar. And then habits. And notes. Was not planning to do all this for this notebook, but I have room on the discs. So I could even add more. So, mm. this makes me want to Do I want to add more dividers or dashboards. You know what I'm getting tempted to do? Just because the overhang <clears throat> is 
kind of bothering me. What if I just went for it and punched, punched these? Makes me a little nervous. The corners of the paper is not gonna be, they won't be protected. I'm gonna do it. <gasps> Guys, I'm gonna do it. Well, I do have, hold on. Jake was a sweetie and sent me this cover because I was disappointed not realizing that when you get it unpunched, you get the smaller size. But now that I'm seeing the discrepancy, not discrepancy, I, I believe that this is designed this way on purpose, um, but because it's so much wider, it does kind of change how it feels. And I think I want it to fit, have it fit the paper better. Um, but do I want to ruin, I kind of don't want to punch this one. I'm going to punch this one and leave this as is because I, I want this to be a cover. I just don't want this on this particular notebook, which I'm using for on the go. So I'm going to try to do this a little more carefully. I'm going to punch the script dashboard and I've never done this material on the Levenger punch so this should be interesting hope we don't do any damage all of your covers like this and dashboards are going to have a plastic um, thing over it little protector I'm going to leave that on and hope that it doesn't give me too much trouble punching it with it on we will see come on Levenger Actually, that was pretty easy. It was pretty easy. Yeah. Okay. I'm excited now. Let's make sure we do the correct side. Wait, we want this to be like this. Okay. And we're going to punch. Oh, sorry, guys. My uh, phone stand is connected to my table. So it's feeling everything. Okay. So let's take the protector off of this guy giving us that kind of glassy look and let's grab my notebook oh perfect yeah I prefer I think I prefer the tighter fit now this is very much my thing you you know if this is not what you want to do you like having the extra space it is your prerogative I want to add kind of like a beachy background on the back of this guy so I'm gonna go ahead and punch this too wait I'm gonna punch it here Yeah, so you might want the extra space for a pen loop, but um, that's not what I need for this guy. So I like that this is fit a bit tighter. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, see how like tight that is? I love it. I like it with the smaller discs too. It's not overly wobbly. I can still add more. Um, let's go back to this guy, monthly, weekly, home, lifestyle. I've got more kind of undated. Let's see. Ooh, this is a good one too. Let's see. I want more note paper. I guess I could go with the Levenger. Go back to this one. I think I'm going to go with the graph. So just grab a hunk of this. And 
we're gonna throw that back here. <gasps> I love this. I don't think I have any graph paper from Jane's Agenda. I wonder if she makes it. Okay, we're still, we still got some room. I could add more calendar pages, but for now, I mean, this really was meant to be a on-the-go notebook. So I don't want to overly, I don't want to put too many planning pages in here. I want this to be a notepad. Oh yeah, that is nice. That is really nice. <gasps> I love it. How are we, how are we feeling? So we do need to change out the um, labels on here and I don't have, I don't think I have my label maker in reach. So I'll have to do this in another, at another time or do it off, off camera. But let's go ahead and remove these labels. So I've got my kind of overview tab, my calendaring habits. It's kind of fun to have a, or funny to have a habits tab when there's literally two sheets of paper. That could change, I don't know. And then the meat and potatoes, functionally for me with this guy, is the note paper. Oh, I guess I could have left that. <gasps> Elizabeth. Okay, so I will relabel these, but for now, we're good. And I like the way this feels in my hand. So if I have the, the um, full half letter cover on it, you know, you're going to be holding it out here, but it's not going to have a lot of beef underneath it because it's not filled with paper. So I'm sure that there's a design reason for it to be that way, but I do like this tighter fit. I think that's really nice. And it's going to be um, easier to throw in my bag, I think. All right, guys. So there it is. I want to add more things to it, but um, oh, I do like this pen. This was in the last sub box. Hmm. I could just do it that way and just kind of clip it on. And then and we also have these. Um, oh, and then I forgot I grabbed these. I think these are so pretty. Okay, so these were journaling cards. And I'm tempted. Yeah, I'm tempted to grab... Where was that washi from the last box? Of course, I can't find it now. Mm -hmm. I wanted to use like a strip of the washi to kind of, oh wait, here it is. It's right here. Really pretty washi. Um, I kind of just want to throw this down here. Not that much. Tighten that a little bit. And grab another one of these, like that. Cute. Oh, I think I kind of want that to stand on its own. Maybe a little less washy, so it's not competing with the pretty ocean design. Fun! It looks kind of junk journaling, and then I can use one of these magnetic clips, which matches that washi. And I actually want to take these in the house because I'll use them as bookmarks in like a paper book. But I'm gonna use one of these to mark the current um, current week that I'm at. So we'll just do that, and this will be like a little kind of tab, if you will, just like that. See that? Ooh, cute. Okay, guys. Well, this is, I think, the last item I needed to get kind of like assembled in preparation for sharing with you guys my planner stack, my quarter three planner notebook journal. I can't just say planner stack because at this point, I'm doing a lot of different things. I have a daily kind of journal notebook spirituality thing hybrid and I've got like a family planner slash budget thing and then I've got like social media stuff and 
I've got this notebook. So um, my stack of paper products that I'm using in quarter three, I'm really excited about this one. I'll probably make some changes here and there over the next couple of months. Of course, I'm going to make an edit to those tabs. And of course, um, I will be getting the next sub box. And so I will probably be changing things out seasonally. But um, I think that's all I have for you, friends. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Come hang out with me over on Instagram. My handle is the Joyful Sojourn. And if you want to shop anything from Jane's Agenda, please use my affiliate link in the description box. It doesn't cost you anything, but I would get a small commission off of your purchase, and that helps support my uh, my channel, my family, um, and I just greatly appreciate that. And remember, Joyful fifteen will save you fifteen percent off of your purchase if if Jane's agenda is new to you. All right, friends, God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.